Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar News Update video. This one's pretty much just going to be an add-on to the video I posted earlier on talking about the Walgreens exclusive version of uh, these two figures, uh, Wave 2 of Diamond Select's action figures, so Aang and Azula. So in that video I went over what you get with the um, exclusive versions from Walgreens, the cheaper, the non-deluxe version of the figures. And in that I sort of talked about how, you know, it's still kind of weird that like those are out in stores and we only have like this image basically of the deluxe versions which are out in just a few weeks. What's going on? Why haven't we seen other images yet? And again, a large part of like why I sort of say stuff like that is because this is the official Diamond Select website and this is the image that they're going with. Yet, if you actually do a Google search on Hot Topic, you can find that, hey, look, a bunch of images of the figures in packaging of the deluxe versions. Here's Aang and Azula. Why don't the, uh, Diamond have these up? Why haven't images like this been up for the last bunch of weeks to help people make a purchasing decision? Um, in that... Is it really okay that we sort of find out completely out of the blue about the Wave 2 uh, Walgreens and then we have to just like randomly find extra images of the other figures online? Uh, definitely not great kind of communication, but uh, let's go through these uh, images here. So what th the main takeaway I'd say before we even go through them specifically is that this time out it really does feel like the deluxe versions, these versions of the figures are... A proper you know big step up compared to the Walgreens version and um, just with the amount of extra stuff you get like if you look at the Ang here it's obviously book one Ang, and you can see we get the big glider accessory in the back you get the stand you get the stand um, arm basically you get a Momo a new Momo and you also get the uh, unsplayed out glider so the staff that's really nice that you do get both um, which I definitely appreciate. Um, so that's uh, really nice to see. And then there is also some extra hands that are shown in this image. So the other images don't show the staff um, without the obviously the glider stuff splayed out, but you do get it as we saw in the packaging. And then the packaging, you can't really see the extra hands. And look at the amount of hands that he comes with. He comes with obviously these glider, I guess, holding hands. You get the fists, the sort of straight out fingers, hands, the splayed out sort of more airbending style hands. And then I guess this is like his staff holding hands, I guess. The Momo is a different Momo from the one we got in Wave 1. The uh, the Wave 1 Momo uh, has more of a kind of like a sitting up kind of pose where he has his like paws in between his legs whereas this is a Momo on all fours so I do appreciate that they gave us a kind of new molded Momo which will be another kind of point of com comparison um, and then yeah as we go through these uh, images you can see like obviously this is a more finalized version of the figure and we can see uh, what's going on here. So there's a better look at that. Uh, closer look at the head sculpt. Uh, obviously the mouth is open quite wide, which is obviously part of the you know, uniqueness of this figure is that it is a kind of big <laughs> giant grin ang. I, I think the only thing with this is that it is gonna be, I suppose maybe difficult to find good poses where this really fits it kind of fits with him on the glider and you like pose him on the stand with it but if you want to just do sort of normal poses it feels a little bit weird that everything's going to have his mouth wide open and so it still feels much the same way as like the the early images of this figure um but uh, yeah you can see they, they have all the joints uh this one obviously isn't really obscured in the joints in or around the sort of uh you know ch chest area and so on so you we should be able to see what the full extent of the posability is here but again elbows still look very very limited um in that like they're just barely able to i suppose pose enough to do the glider holding pose um as we can see here and it's it's kind of interesting that they only pose him with the giant glider uh here's from behind you see the double jointed knees the um the posability there in the ankles um and yeah the other thing is that the stand you can see they give you a sort of slightly shorter stand and that the the wave one figures came with a three-part stand that had um 
another another section uh, to pose with. This one comes with a special end part to attach onto the glider, um, which I guess you can see here is one of the kind of peg holes for it. Um, so that's kind of interesting that they you get quite a bit in this uh, box for the uh, the Wave One Ang. Um, which I think sort of makes sense. It, it makes it more worthwhile, given that we already got an Ang in the first wave. Here's a Wave 2 Ang, but he comes with like every accessory you'd kind of possibly want. So, um, yeah, I suppose in person, I think the big thing with him is that otherwise he looks like a perfectly good, you know, Wave 1 Ang. Is the uh, this head sculpt going to work in more than like a handful of poses is probably the main thing. But yeah, it looks cool. Uh, the packaging also is uh, slightly different as well. Um, obviously, it's it's different than the uh, Walgreens exclusive packaging, but it's also different than the Wave 1 packaging. I complain quite a bit in my reviews about the Wave 1 packaging being way too big, in that when I got all three of Wave 1 in a box, it was a massive box, and most of it was just because of how huge the packaging is on these and this still looks relatively big and again there's some big accessories here but it seems like it's a little bit smaller and more reasonable uh, the main difference between this and the Walgreens packaging is that the Walgreens packaging the uh, kind of cardboard comes across on the top as well whereas it's more open here so this seems like a nice blend of the the different packaging styles that they've done so far uh, yeah next we'll move on to Azula so here is a look at her in the box. So you can see you get the figure itself. There's the uh, firebending effect part that she was pictured with before, which makes complete sense. Um, you can see she gets the clear stand and stand arm in the back there. Uh, and then she also comes with this bigger firebending effect part and some spare hands as we can see here. So if we look at the full, um, the image that shows all of the uh, parts, here it is all in one so you know okay so you get sort of uh, her hands to hold something I guess uh, straight hands there's the hand to shoot the kind of fire effect part out and then this effect you will probably have seen this before because this is the wave one ang big air bending effect part just uh, molded in transparent blue plastic instead of just clear plastic to make it a fire bending effect rather than an air bending effect. That feels a little lazy to me in that like okay I guess technically it does in fact work as a fire bending move but I still never quite got what the idea of this move necessarily was so that's why I kind of wished that we saw a bigger variety of bending effects just because I think both of them that you get here aren't really that great because with with say this one it's new I'm still not exactly sure what it's meant to be in that like she's firing it out of two hands obviously it's molded a bit weird to make it uh, actually work so I think it's meant to be lightning but it seems a bit too kind of thick and kind of like combined together so it looks more like blue fire so but if it was blue fire, then there, then it wouldn't be as sort of, you know, like gappy and kind of uh, stemming off like this. So it seems like this weird half blend of like lightning and blue fire and it doesn't quite work for me. And then knowing that this is the exact mold of Aang's airbending move, it just feels a bit weird, especially because I never quite got what the two spirally bits at the end were sort of meant to be. Um, it means that like it's going to look weird if you ever try and pose Azula against Aang and they both have the exact same effect part just in a different colour. Um, it it just feels like I said a, a little lazy could they really not have given just even another effect part like just something like a, a fireball like a kind of medium sized blue fire fireball that looks very clearly like it's fire or a part that was just very clearly a lightning bolt which this doesn't really look like. Um, it's still still cool that they give you a kind of bigger part, but uh, it's not great that it's a, a remold. Um, otherwise, the figure looks, you know, again, pretty good, painted quite well. Uh, the face, again, that'll be, that'll be something more to see in person to see how just how well it works. Um, obviously, there's been a little bit of discussion about why did they go for the, like, Sozin's Comet Azula with the hair out of place rather than just, you know, 
standard Azula like it is for most of the series. Uh, I don't quite get that. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see in person. Azula, fan favorite character, so she's going to be a popular figure either way. And this is a pretty good attempt. But yeah, I have both of these on order, so when they come in, I will be doing reviews of uh, both figures. But uh, here's just a look at what you get in uh, both of these uh, figures. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with the Ang, just to see how much actually comes in the box. Um, and then it's nice to know with Azula that she does have a little bit more going on, um, especially with the like extra hands and so on. Um, but uh, yeah, I suppose the only disappointment, like I said, is that I wish that this fire effect part was replaced with something more unique. But uh, I guess they do need to reuse some parts, I guess. But it feels a bit like an excuse. So, uh, yeah, in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are on what you get in the deluxe uh, versions of the Wave 2 figures. Um, and again, if you've ordered online, you are realistically getting these versions of the figures. Um, because, again, the, the Walgreens versions, you're only going to be able to get from Walgreens and... Uh, you know that this realistically you're going to get these ones um but uh yeah in the comments let me know your thoughts on these but that's been the video thanks for watching and bye